We are an organization that works to promote health and well-being of Latino families in Oregon. We do this through different programs. We have community health workers that help people one-on-one. -on -one. We have a nutrition and food equity program, and we also have an HIV program that we just started. Things have changed a lot during COVID-19. Instead of doing classes or health education, we've been focusing a lot on access to food. We know that this pandemic has impacted more Latino families disproportionately. The needs continue to be there. I don't feel like the needs have changed. They've only been heightened. There's a, a lot to be said about people feeling understood and feeling like somebody is listening to them and that they're not alone in this world because a lot of times when you're going through any kind of illness, you tend to isolate yourself. You know, they don't have access to healthy foods. They don't have access to affordable housing. They don't have access to transportation and those things present themselves as stress. So if they were already living paycheck to paycheck and not getting this paycheck, how are they gonna provide food at the table? What we call basic necessities, they don't have. You know, they're barely making it. They're barely making it. Right now, I think we really need community support, huge allies, advocates for our immigrant Latino families, and just organizations of color, I think, in general, just supporting local businesses and voting, voting for the right representatives that will support our Latino community. Seeing their resiliency and seeing how we look out for each other, that's like one of the biggest strengths that we have as a community, and that really inspired me.